Good morning, students. Today, let us know about the story of Kulleru Lake. Students, in this story, you are going to realize about how man-made activities spoil beautiful ecosystems like Kulleru. Shall we start? Yes. So, students, first we discuss about the glory of Kulleru Lake in the past. Then we will come to understand what is the present situation of Kulleru. Got it? So, see. Kolleru Lake is one of the largest freshwater lakes in India. Got it? Then, where is it located, students? It is present in between Godavari and Krishna districts. And what is the catchment area of the lake? Catchment area means the total area of the lake. It is about 6121 square kilometers. This value is important. Remember this. Now, this lake receives its water from two rivers, Krishna and Godavari. So, water is in Godavari and Krishna rivers. Water the excess water it discharges into Bay of Bengal through a canal called as Upputeru. So, excess water Bay of Bengal is in the canal dwara flow. Got it? Now, students, this lake is a host for 20 lakh migratory birds belonging to 193 species which come over here during the months of October and March. They come from North Asia and Eastern Europe to avoid cold conditions. But it's students, see the number how many birds are visiting this lake every year. Because of this, this lake was declared as bird century by the government of India in 1999. Got it? So, Kolleru Lake was declared as bird sanctuary in the year 1999. Not only this, students, this lake is a habitat for 20 million residents. In and around this lake, there are 20 million residents who are directly or indirectly dependent on this lake. Got it? In addition, there is a lot of biodiversity in the lake area. We find a variety of flora and fauna including medicinal plants in this. Got it. And the last but not the least is this lake is the source of food for the poorest people. So the poor people over there, they come for fishing. They use that fish for their food as well as for aching their livelihood. Got it, students. So this is the glory of Koleru in the past. See how many organisms are dependent on this Koleru and living so happily. Got it, students. So this is the glory. Now we shall see the decline of glory. So the present condition. Actually the present in the present situation the glory has declined. So what happened to this lake? The lake has shrunken in its size. Lake size baga reduce reduced. The reason is in 1980s many investors they came over here and they started aquaculture in the lake. So what is aquaculture? Growing fishes and prawns. So, as they started aquaculture in the lake, almost the entire lake was brought under cultivation. The lake was brought under fishing and prawn culture. Even bunts were constructed to divert the flow of water. The lake was cut margins of the lake. The water river water was flooded. Got it? So, this is one thing. And the other thing is pollution. Pollution due to the other factors. What are the other factors? Because of the success of aquaculture, the many industries grew up in that area. Chala industries such as I, and those industries started releasing chemical pollutants into the lake. While pollutants and the lake loke discharges. Sir. Then with the growth of industries, the residential area increased in that area. So residents and the ilul cutes kunaranmata. And they even started agriculture in the lake area. Agriculture could have started. Sir. So now what happened? Chemical pollutants from industries, fertilizer waste from agricultural runoff, infectious discharge from fish tanks, municipal waste, domestic sewage from homes of the people, all they led into this lake. Any waste to lake lokochi chere ayan mata. And because of this, the lake got enriched with nutrients. So what happens because of nutrient enrichment? There is explosive growth of algae. And the names of the algae is Icornia and Pistia. So the lake is soon covered with the explosive growth of Icornia and Pistia. What it students? So 
ఇప్పుడు ఏమైంది లేక్ మొత్తం ఐకోనియా పిస్టియాతో నిండిపోయింది అనమాట ఆల్ దీస్ థింగ్స్ ద లెట్ టు ద ఫాలోయింగ్ కాన్సిక్వెన్సెస్ సో ఏమైంది లేక్కి వాటర్ టర్న్డ్ ఆల్కలైన్ వాటర్ అంతా బేసిక్గా మారిపోయింది అండ్ టర్బిడ్ వాట్ ఈస్ టర్బిడ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆపోజిట్ ఆఫ్ ఒపేక్ వాటర్ షుడ్ బి ఒపేక్ రైట్ సీత్రూగా ఉండాలి బట్ ఇట్ బికేమ్ టర్బిడ్ బురద బురదగా అయిపోయింది అండ్ డిజాల్డ్ ఆక్సిజన్ లెవెల్స్ వర్ లోవర్డ్ వాట్ ఈస్ డిజాల్డ్ ఆక్సిజన్ అమౌంట్ ఆఫ్ ఆక్సిజన్ డిజాల్డ్ ఇన్ ద లేక్ వాటర్ సో ఆ లెవెల్స్ పడిపోయాయి అనమాట దట్ ఈస్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ ద గ్రోత్ ఆఫ్ పిస్టియా అండ్ ఐకోర్నియా దీస్ ప్లాంట్స్ దే యూజ్ అప్ డిజాల్డ్ ఆక్సిజన్ అండ్ సో ద లెవెల్స్ ఆఫ్ డిజాల్డ్ ఆక్సిజన్ ఈస్ లెస్ ఇన్ ద లేక్ వాట్ ఇట్ పిస్టియా ఐకోర్నియా యూజ్ అప్ చేసుకునేస్తున్నాయి కాబట్టి లో అయిపోయింది దెన్ దెర్ ఈస్ ఇంక్రీజ్ ఇన్ బయాలజికల్ ఆక్సిజన్ డిమాండ్ so what is biological oxygen demand this is the amount of oxygen required by the aquatic life for their survival so the fish to survive the prawns to survive they require oxygen and that amount of oxygen required by the fish and from prawn to survive is what is called as biological oxygen demand so because there is no oxygen enough oxygen there is lot of demand in the water got it and because of that what happened death of aquatic life many fishes and prawns they started dying got it and next one more thing is because of the pollutants in the water and water being used up as drinking water by many people in that area they got water borne diseases like diarrhea typhoid amebiasis got it so the people suffered with these diseases then even the prawns and fishes they started suffering with vector burn diseases vectors are nothing but mosquitoes insects fleas that which spread the diseases because the lake water is highly polluted the population of mosquitoes fleas and insects increased and that caused diseases to prawns and fishes and because of this the fish and prawns started dying so all these changes led to the abandonment of lake people started abandoning the lake lake nodulesi vaalu chaala vere vere places ki elipoyaru anamata vaalla livelihood kosam got it so this is how the glory of the lake is lost due to man made activities so students what are the man made activities here uh, aquaculture industrial growth agriculture then uh, discharging the domestic and municipal fluids into the lake got it so these are the man made activities that spoiled the beauty uh, and health of koleru lake ecosystem got it students now so to get back the glory of the koleru the government of india uh, under the ministry of environment and forest constituted a committee called as operation koleru in the year 2006 to protect the lake so according to this committee there should not be any aquaculture programs and industrial uh, establishments in the lake area and they are trying to get back the glory of uh, koleru hope that the glory is restored got it students i hope you understood the story of koleru thank you